What is going on guys and welcome back to DVR number two, episode five in the series. Today we are at the Westchester Diner in Peekskill, New York, or if you pass it at any time past sundown, the Ur. <laughs> Today we are here to try the Philly cheesesteak egg rolls, which look really good on the menu. I've never tried them before. And I'm here with another childhood friend. If you are an OG of the channel, you might know her, Michelle. Hi everyone. How are you today, Michelle? I'm doing pretty well. I'm a little cold, but that's okay. <laughs> Every time I do one of these, I feel like I'm dragging another friend out in the frigid 20 degree wind, so sorry. Okay. Now, here's the kicker with this one. I emailed four different restaurants and nobody's answering. So you know what? I'm just gonna come uninvited from now on. And if we get kicked off the property, it'll be even more interesting. So I had to order these egg rolls to go. And this is the first time I'm seeing them and trying them from here, so. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Get a close-up of that. They don't look the best. <laughs> this one looks like it has a, a disease of some sort. Okay. It's burnt. I'm gonna take the best looking one to give them the best shot, so. Cheers. Cheers. It's 18 degrees. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. The meat is definitely low quality. It's like one of those frozen steakums, kind of chopped up a little bit. Huh. The flavor is good though. This one's cooked really well. What was this one? Like I can tell there's cheese, but it needs to be cheesier. We need some more cheese in there. A little bit higher quality steak. Uh, but overall, not as bad as I thought it would be after seeing this. Now obviously those egg rolls were very simplistic. They were just steak and a cheese sauce wrapped up. I wanna take mine up a few notches in appearance and flavor and just the overall quality. So I'm starting with chopping up a couple of these small white onions and some nice little shoestring cuts. And then two bell peppers. I'm gonna use one red and one green uh, for no other reason than it'll, it'll look a little bit better. And you wanna cut this really small because remember they are going in a somewhat small egg roll wrapper. And now for the star of the show that I think is really just gonna take this over the top. I bought some short ribs from the store. I'm sure I'm gonna get flamed for using this. Um, but I removed the bones and then with the sharpest knife I had, I tried to cut these super paper thin, as thin as I could possibly get them. Now I decided to go with these for a few different reasons. They're relatively inexpensive. They're about 12 bucks for the package. They're already cut up nicely, so once the bone is removed, you can shave them into these nice little square pieces. And most importantly, that fat marbling throughout looks really nice. It should melt down and make the meat super tender and savory and delicious. And once I had all three of my short ribs sliced up, it's time to start cooking. Obviously, I started with my onions and peppers in a saute pan, just with a little bit of salt and pepper, nothing crazy. I'm also not gonna caramelize the onions, I just wanna sweat them out and make them translucent, a little bit easier to bite through. And after about 10 minutes of cooking this, I removed them and then added in my steak. Again, just with a little bit of fresh cracked salt and pepper, a little bit of some dried parsley. Also, these should only take two or three minutes on a high heat. Uh, to get some nice color and to be cooked all the way through because they are very thin cuts. I did put a pot of oil off to the side and let that heat up slowly while I constructed some of my egg rolls. The first few, I'll be honest, they weren't as easy as I thought they were gonna be to roll. I want a really tight seal on these so that the oil doesn't seep in and saturate everything inside. Um, at first I was only wetting the corners of the egg roll wraps uh, eventually, I just wetted the whole outside and kind of tried to seal it like an envelope or something. After about the third or fourth one, I did start to get the hang of them. I also didn't mention I'm using slices of provolone cheese. I think I'll get a nice little cheese pull and it'll just taste better than that cheap cheese sauce they use at the restaurant. And one at a time, I dropped them in my 375 degree oil for about two to two and a half minutes at most. You want some nice browning around the outside, you want the cheese to melt through in the middle, and these are looking pretty darn good. I will say I give these at least five minutes on a ton of paper towels and paper plates, because they're gonna release a lot of grease, and you don't want that seeping all over your counter. 
When I cut into these babies though, they looked so good. The meat smells delicious. The cheese looks nice and melted. So now it is time to bring Michelle back in and give him a try. Don't worry, I haven't made any jokes. She hasn't talked to me the whole time I was cooking. I haven't tried to juggle a knife or anything. Don't get your knickers in a bunch. <laughs> your panties in a twist. So we're back with Michelle. She is going to try my version that hopefully should be a little bit better. And these didn't take too long, so they're good. Better. It's cheesier. The beef is much higher quality, you can tell. Better flavor. Seasoned well. And then the peppers and onions, for me, just take it up a notch. Mm. Cheesier. Doesn't taste baked. If you had to rate both this and the diners out of 10, what would you give them? Another one, the diners maybe a six or seven. There's an eight or a nine. I will take the win, <laughs> but honestly, I think that's generous for the diner. I'm happy. We could chalk this up as a win. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the second DVR. If you did, leave me a big thumbs up. Leave me your feedback once again. You guys were not the nicest on the last video, but I did take a lot of that into account. Leave me constructive feedback, not just straight up rude comments. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram. If you are a business owner or you know a business owner that wants to be featured in the series, hit me up. My email is right here, davidseymourofficial at gmail.com. And I'm looking for restaurants in the tri-state, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut area to hit up. Other than that though, have an awesome beginning of your week and I will see you right back here next time. Peace. With the M, M without the A, D Put the burgers in my money, super lazy Try and make a meal tonight, they ain't pay me Try and supersize my life with my A team Yeah, our style wasn't wavy, but we had a vision We can make it up Michelle needs to give a special shout out <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to my good friend Antonia Hi! <laughs>